Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be telling you my opinion on why I think the HomePod Mini sucks. So I have a real issue with the HomePod Mini and I just want to premise right now that the HomePod Mini hasn't actually been released yet. There's no reviews out. Nobody knows even if it's a good or bad product. It's basically just been launched and announced by Apple um, and the launch is coming pretty pretty soon the biggest issue obviously i've got with homepod mini is the price because like i said that's all that i've got and i feel like the price doesn't do enough 99 dollars isn't cheap enough it's good but i don't think it should be the entry price for the homepod line so if i go on amazon and obviously look at like their smart speakers which are obviously really successful the echo dot um retails for 29.99 and it has had a whopping 241,000 reviews. The higher end product on the Amazon uh, lineup is the Echo Studio, which has a retail price of $189.99 and has 3,288 reviews. Correct me if I'm wrong, but obviously the Echo Dot line is popular. And that is my biggest problem. The funny fact is the Echo Dot isn't even the entry model in the Echo lineup. The Echo Flex is. And that's like £19. And it just enables your Amazon Assistant to be there in the room and just do actions for you. AKA turn on your lights, turn off your lights, open your doors, lock your doors, all that stuff. Everything a HomePod does. Granted, it is a good speaker as well. I will give it that. I've got two HomePods myself. When I'm thinking about the HomePod Mini, I think the HomePod Mini should have been priced more towards the $50 mark rather than the $99 mark. I just feel like it's a missed opportunity because so many people just want to get a smart speaker that is as inexpensive as possible. But the, that's the problem with Apple's whole smart home lineup, for my opinion, is it's all so expensive. I have multiple Echo uh, dots around my house and in more or less every single room, well, every room, we have um, smart plugs and they've all run on routines. Some come on at 7 p.m., some turn themselves off. We've got scene set up, turn off upstairs, downstairs, all the house, etc. Um, if I say bedtime, everything shuts off and the alarm gets set for the morning. Everything works how you'd want it to work. And those features also work in the same way that it does on Apple's. But the difference is the companies that Apple gets on board for their smart home stuff are way more expensive. Take this room, for example. Behind me, you can see multiple lights, bulbs, all that. Th th these bulbs are like nine quid. They, they, are, they add the same value as the Philips Hue strips do. Whereas the Philips Hue strips are very much more expensive, but they do the same thing. And I just cannot fathom paying £50 for a smart plug when I could get two for 15 pounds or three for like 20 pounds here in the UK. It's just insane. I walk in my room, I say, turn on my office, everything turns off. I say, I'm going to bed and everything in the house will turn off in the exact same way that it would on Apple. So why would the average consumer pay 99 pounds for a HomePod mini over a 29 pound Echo Dot? And if you think about it, you could get an Echo Dot, all the accessories like plugs and everything, for the same price as the HomePod Mini. I get that a lot of people are gonna say down below, oh, well, the, the, the speaker's probably gonna be better on a HomePod Mini, and granted, it, it likely is gonna be better, um, but the entry level, my problem is, is Amazon obviously have like the Echo speaker in the mid-tier, and that's like a good speaker, but also does obviously the Amazon uh, features, etc. But their entry level is a dot, and what Apple have got is their entry level being a HomePod Mini, and that's why I think the entry level needs to be lower. I don't think it's, it's low enough because I want people to come in. I want no. I wanted to be in that Apple ecosystem of all the smart plugs and and everything. But it just doesn't make financial sense until one of these lights break down and the smart plugs like I suppose catch fire. Let's just say touch wood. But I, I literally don't see any reason to buy a HomePod Mini if you was gonna get it for smart home purposes. Speaker wise, I agree. I probably do agree there. And you've got the whole Apple Music ecosystem and, and everything going on for you there. They're cheap enough to do in stereo as well. So you could have two of them for 200 And I imagine the sound is going to be really good. But I was hoping they were going to be lower so that I could. And to be honest, this is a really hard video for me to make. Because I am a big Apple fan. Um, I am in the Apple ecosystem. But the only thing I'm not in the ecosystem is my smart home. And it is something I wanted to do. But it's something I just financially don't see the value. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I just wanted it to be short, sweet, to the point, And I want to continue this conversation down below and also on Twitter. So 
get on Twitter, DM me, comment down below, guys, because I want to have a conversation down there. I want to all chat and have this debate further because it's a problem for me and, and you know, who knows? Obvious thing about this, though, I guess, is I'm not going to be picking up a HomePod Mini. Um, I might keep my eye out in the sales and stuff and maybe down the line, like somebody on Facebook sells one, like used and it, it's a bit cheaper and stuff and I might check one out then. But right now, I'm, I'm not in the market for a HomePod Mini and... You know, doing one in every single room like I've got now, it's gonna cost me like more or less the same price as like one home part, like 300 pounds. So, not for me, not for me. Thanks though, guys. Subscribe if you are new and also comment, like I said. Let's have a conversation and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.